Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Thank you for joining me here at Life with Lady T. <laughs> um, before I get started, you guys know what to do. I'm gonna give you five seconds. Like this video, subscribe to my page. Ready, here we go. Five, four, oh, three, <laughs> two, one. Let's get started. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me again here at my channel. Um, I am just so excited to give you some information on why I went vegan and my 30 pound weight loss, yes. And this was within a month, I would say about two to three weeks I lost 30 pounds. So. I'm not gonna make this a very long video because I know when I'm watching YouTube videos, I want people to get straight to the facts. The reason why I went vegan was because I was just consuming so much dairy, so much meat, um, and it was just making me feel disgusting. Um, I know a lot of people go vegan to like save the earth and save animals, which is all cool. Um, if that's your prerogative, cool. That's do you but for me I just health wise I felt like I was moving a little bit slower I was always bloated always had headaches um just I felt disgusting um constipation sorry TMI um wasn't able to go to the bathroom constantly it was just a lot going on so um me and my husband made this like executive decision to go vegan um together we went vegan for about three months I continued on to nine months in that time, have I messed up? Yes, I did. The health benefits that I've seen from being becoming a vegan, um, I have seen inflammation in my body, which means like the headaches that I used to get, the cramps during my cycle, um, just like puffy eye, sinuses, that has completely gone away, completely gone away. Um, my skin has cleared up so, so much. I'm gonna put a picture right here. So this picture um, was from about, I think like February or March. Now on one side of the picture, you see my face was like dark, kind of like clammy, really gross. I always was breaking out pimples and all of that stuff. And then the, the, the second picture, was from me um, becoming a vegan, drinking nothing but water strictly, um, and eating my fruits, eating more vegetables, um, beans, all of that stuff. So you can definitely see um, a change in that. Um, I've also seen a change um, in my weight. Now, I used to eat crazy. I'm talking about, oh, should I go down the list? I had steak, I had hamburgers, french fries, ice cream um noodles noodles was everything to me but that darn salt in them noodles will take you out every time um bags of chips uh cookies i was eating late at night so another part of it is discipline um you gotta have discipline too um so i am currently nine months as a vegan Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, it has been very difficult. It has been very, very difficult. Have I messed up and eaten meat? I have. On my birthday, I ate meat. Yep, I did. But guess what? When you stop eating food like meat for such a long time and you start eating it again, it will tear up your body, honey. Tear up your body. So for those of you that are thinking about going vegan, Either you're going to do it or you're like, don't do it at all because it will mess you up if you're not consistent with it. And also, if you go back to like eating cheese and, and meat and all that other type of stuff, know that the weight gain that you, you get from it, you're going to just start gaining weight much, much faster. Now, let me put this disclosure in there. I'm not a doctor. I am not a health physician. But this is these are the things that I've noticed about my body and the changes that I've seen becoming a vegan. Um, the benefits... Oh, that was really weird. Sorry. The benefits <laughs> that come with becoming a vegan 
Um, so I know that it prevents some type of cancer cells from coming in there. It does not stop cancer completely, um, but it kind of helps prevent it and not feed at it. Um, it does help with weight loss. Um, it does help with clearing up skin, acne, pimples. Um, it does help with bloating. It does give you more nutrients in your body. Um, it does give you more energy. I've noticed since I've stopped drinking pop breads, pastas, that I have gotten so much energy just from vegetables and all that type of stuff. Also, I was watching a video. I don't know if it was here or Facebook. And they were talking about how um, the foods that you eat is information that's going into your body. So if you're eating like chips that have not no nutrients in there, if you're eating like ice cream and all this other type of stuff, I know the keto people will probably say something about this, but I'm just saying in general, like a lot of the sugars and a lot of the salts, your body is kind of going into overdrive because you only need so much. So when you pack that on, your arteries start to get clogged up. You know, that's how heart attacks happen, diabetes, all of that stuff. Now, some of these things can be inherited. They can be passed on from generation to generation. I, again, I'm just talking about being a vegan and the benefits for me, um, cutting off cheese, cutting off dairy. Um, I know one thing that I do want to do is start drinking more water. Um, at Whole Foods, they do have this soda. Um, it's called like Italian soda. Bomb. Amazing. I was addicted to it. Uh, my husband did go vegan with me as well. He stopped um, just because he, he was he wanted to gain more muscle, gain more weight. Uh, but I think if he could say something about it, you know, I think he would say that it did help. Uh, maybe not for weight loss uh, for him, per se, because women and men's bodies are a little bit different. Um, but it did help. It did help. So maybe I'll do a video with him at some point. Um, but. I want to show you the books that uh, we bought when we became vegan. These saved my life as far as like meal plans and all of that save my life. I was able to cook. Another annoying thing about ve being a vegan is that you have to buy all of these freaking like, um, what is it like? ingredients for food is you have to buy so much and you only use it for one one thing that you're cooking um so this one is called the forks um over knives plan this has a lot of information um on it um it'll teach you about like breakfast lunch and dinner oh good catch uh breakfast lunch and dinner um and it has good stuff in it very very good stuff not a lot of pictures but really good stuff the next one is one of my favorites, The Kitchen, Eat Like You Give a Bad Word, okay? So that's this book. This book has so many good, easy recipes. Um, they have, um, let me see if I can find it really quick. Um, very, very, very good, good like salads, really good smoothies, um, just very hearty, vegan meals excellent 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 um oh i said i was going to show you guys didn't i uh this mango curry right here mango curry is absolutely amazing they don't have a picture of it but it is so good so i won't give all the deets out here but you guys i highly suggest you go and get this book the next book I want to share with you guys is The Sweet Potato So 100 Easy Vegan Recipes. This also helped me a lot. Now, mind you, my husband was very picky, so I didn't cook a lot of like a variety of things. I kind of stuck with like the, the sweet potatoes, the broccoli, and the mixed veggies. Um, I stuck with like the rice, the corn, uh, quinoa, or quinoa. <laughs> I stuck with all the basic things because he doesn't really like a lot of different sauces. Um, he just is very kind of basic. So he was a basic vegan, basic vegan. So I think that's why he got tired of it. But, you know, whatever. But this is really good. It has a lot of Southern flavors. So like uh, fried cauliflower. It has like chickpeas. Um, all of the good stuff. Really, really good. Highly suggest you guys go get it. Um, Afro vegan. Farm Fresh, African, Caribbean, Southern style. This, if you want to go on like, do like a date night or like have friends over, this is the book for you if you are a vegan. They have so many flavorful recipes, flavorful things in this book that you'll be able to 
um, kind of kind of like read through. So they have like a skillet cornbread with pecan uh, daku, uh, molasses, glazed walnuts, lemongrass, boiled peanuts. They have all greens uh, spring slaw, which is basically a coleslaw for vegans. Um, green squash roots, uh, stewed tomatoes and black eyed peas with cucumbers on croutons, creamy coconut cashew soup. So many easy, like five to six ingredient recipes that you'll need. Let it kind of sit in the uh, Instapot. Boom, you're done. So, yes, get this book. Last book I want to show you guys is The Plant-Based Diet for Beginners. Phenomenal, let me tell you. Very, very good. This book has very basic things again. Um, those of you that like, you know, like your little tuna salads, uh, they have vegan tuna salad, they have lemony kale salads, they have whole wheat banana bread, uh, blueberry muffins, and the list goes on. So if you're thinking about being a vegan, becoming a vegan, I highly suggest you go vegan. I highly suggest. I'm not saying that you can do things perfectly all the way. Things that help me is I, I cut slowly cut off meat slowly cut off cheese i love dairy i love cheese however i'm lactose intolerant and sometimes depending on what it is i do have an allergic reaction to it i have to have uh, epipens so um I highly suggest you slowly wean off those meats, those dairies, those animal products. Um, start reading the back of the labels of those things that you're starting to eat and stuff just to see if it has dairy, if it has meat products in it. Um, start doing your research. Find YouTube videos that will help you. Um, you can do it. Be encouraged. I know some, so many people get so discouraged by, you know, just, oh, I don't know where to start. I don't know what to eat, but you can do it. Trust me. Take your time. Uh, get little cookbooks. Find fun little recipes on Pinterest. Um, again, start weaning yourself off and you can do it. If I can do it, <laughs> you can definitely do it. So that is, that's that. You can do it. You can do it. I can do it. We all can do it, okay? So thank you so much again for joining me um, and doing life with me. I love sharing my experiences. I love sharing um, the different things that I encounter, the different things that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. And being vegan is definitely kind of like my number one priority right now. So I'm working on it. I do plan on now, let me say, I do plan on going on a three to like 10 day completely like juice diet. That is going to really cleanse me and I'm gonna bring you all, you guys along on the journey with me. Um, so to say the least, you can do it, be encouraged. I got your back and the rest of the vegans in the world got your back um, and it, it will benefit you so so much health wise i promise you if you have any other questions please drop those comments below those questions below email me it's all in the description box i will also post these videos in the description box um, for those of you that want to know a little bit more about the books and kind of the recipes um so yeah um Thank you guys for joining me. Um, I went from being this to being this. So um, you guys can do it. You're gonna feel fabulous, so much lighter after. Um, and you don't have to do it alone. There are people that are going through this journey with you. Um, so yes, thank you for joining me again. And you guys be blessed, have a wonderful day. Eat healthy so that you can live long, a long time, please. I'm speaking to myself, you didn't know. <laughs> okay, love you guys, God bless, peace.